a marketing rebel, marketing rebel. In this video, I'm gonna break down the marketing campaign that got me hooked with internet marketing. It's the one that completely changed my life and stuck me on the trajectory that we have gotten here today. So I just started understanding internet marketing and a buddy of mine pushed me to write a book with him. And it would be the second book in his series of books on, that he called The Insider Secrets. His first one was on real estate and then this one was gonna be on the mortgage industry, but all revolving around marketing, right? So the goal was to leverage my knowledge and relationship in the mortgage industry, because at the time of getting ready to write this book, that's what I was in, I had a brick and mortar mortgage company, and then was heavily involved in real estate and construction as well. So we were at a Dan Kennedy Info Summit in Los Angeles, California, uh, with my buddy and I. He wants help pushing me to write this book. and one of the top mortgage marketing mentors in the industry was there. So I had followed this guy and started learning about kind of how he was helping mortgage broker generate leads. You know, my company at the time was taking leads from Lending Tree, but I knew I needed another way. So I would already reached out to him, start following him. And I'm like, it's kind of funny because this guy's a business coach and super nice guy, but I kind of had this thing made up in my head that this guy was more important and, you know, he's not going to know who I am and all this like, you know, imposter kind of thing going on, right? So I waited to the very last day and I went up to him to ask if he would be open to me interviewing him for a book. And you know, it's wild is he said yes, right? He, he said yes, he's like, yeah, that'd be awesome. And next thing you know is, you know, that interview happens. So then what's the next thing I do is I decide to ask him, does he know anyone else? And so I start getting opened up to this entire world of these guys that were coaching mortgage brokers with different strategies and processes to grow their business. And so when that happened, and I asked him that, that one question, me basically getting over my own ego and my own imposter syndrome and asking him if he would let me interview him for the book opened up a massive amount of doors uh, for me. I ended up, he ended up introducing me to some other people, I reached out cold to a few others and I told them really, hey guys, I'm gonna interview, you're gonna be in this book. I told them they would all get exposure and access to the buyers. My buddy said, hey, the list that you're gonna grow is the very valuable piece, which I didn't understand at the time, but hey, I saw what he was doing and I ran with it. So here's the problem with writing that book and also creating that relationship. I knew I could interview him. I didn't know how I was gonna do it via the phone and record it all just yet, but I knew I could do it. And I had no idea at all what I was doing. I just kept executing. So my buddy Mark just kept giving me the steps. Hey, do this, then this, then this. And what ended up happening is I interviewed seven different mortgage brokers. I had those interviews transcribed. I had them edited and I had them reviewed uh, by an editor, right? I edited and then reviewed to make sure everything was good. So I had no clue on how to do it, but I just got to work. And I was, and I was willing to ask questions, right? Along the process, you can't, you can't just go through setting up businesses and doing things without asking questions to people that are ahead of you to help you overcome the roadblocks faster. So many people just wanna go it alone, you don't really need to. So I was humble enough to ask questions and get where I wanted to go. So the developer that I actually had found at the time, his name was Jay. I'll never forget Jay, man. Jay. Jay was so helpful in this process. Uh, he had worked with a lot of these like big name info marketers. He built their sales pages back in the day when it was stuff was just HTML. So uh, now we didn't have page builders. We didn't even have companies that would trans, what rev.com is a company now you can plug in a, an audio, an hour long audio and have your transcript back instantly. It's crazy. We didn't have that stuff back then. It took days to get these things done. Well, he built this whole page for me, but on a call with him, I was chatting with him and he goes, hey, what do you want, what, what, what's your pricing? Like, well, how are you gonna, what are you gonna sell this book? What are you gonna price it at? And I was like, I, I don't know, I'm just trying to figure it out. I mean, what, $16.95 is the price of the book that we're gonna sell it on, on Amazon back then, right? And uh, he was like, well, what I would recommend is you create some pricing tiers. I had no idea what he meant, what pricing tiers meant at the time, but what he was saying is pricing tiers. And you know, it's funny because I knew what pricing tiers were in the realm of like other business, but I didn't understand it in the internet marketing world. It's kind of wild how, how similar it is. But at the time, it just seemed so foreign to me until I really understood it. He was like, look, you want the $17 product, you need to also offer them a couple extra books 
and something else for $97, and then we'll create a package for $197. You gotta love the sevens, right? Dan Kenny used to talk about that all the time. But, so we had 17, 97, and 197. He built one sales page that basically said, here's your three offers, pick one. We put it all together, we had the delivery of the mechanism, we had all this stuff. So we're, what we were doing was pre-selling these books. And I had, you know, needed to, at this point, everything's built. The book is done. The sales page is done. We put it all together. We needed to market the book for sale. This is where the real work started, the terrifying work started. I'm like, I don't have any eyeballs to buy this book and I don't want to just go ask my friends and family to be the one was to buy this book. So I ended up discovering this thing uh, along the way when I was interviewing them was a telecall, a teleconference. Well, I mean, when I interviewed them, it was them and me and it was just questions and we were talking. But there was this tool, instant teleseminar that you could, and that's still available today, we could get hundreds of people on one call and talk one to many. I am dating myself in this video right now. This, so keep in mind, this was 2007 in 2008 when this was happening. So all these tools, you're probably like, tell us someone, I already done that, right? That's back then that didn't exist. So, but the big important lesson about this was I learned how to sell one to many. So here's what we did. Everyone that was in the book, they all had emails and subscribers that they pushed to this telecom. They said, hey, show up to this call at this time. It was a 90 minute call. Man, I was sweating the entire time. All, and all I did was I coordinated, right? So if you think about this process, I curated the interviews and put them in a book. I became the authority of curating the interviews. And then from there on the telecall, I was just curating the conversation. I didn't, I was not the expert in mortgage marketing. I was not the expert in building sales, which not the expert in even having conversations about this stuff, but all I knew is I knew if I curated it, it would work out. But I expected to fail. I had no idea what was about to happen next. It was insane. I was so com completely changed my life. It was wild, right? So we sold, we go on this 90 minute call. I'm not looking at stats. I'm, you know, like nowadays, if you have a Shopify store, right? You boom, boom, you're constantly dinging when you got your sales coming in. Back then I had no clue. I had to get off the call. I couldn't multitask, be on the call and also look at the card. I had to stay focused on the task at hand. Now we sold $5,431 worth of books on that call and my life changed forever. I just made money with a computer and a telephone. And it was totally different than running the mortgage company, selling and building houses, way different but it clicked with me that I could now work from anywhere in the world. I just became a virtual business owner and that in itself completely changed the game for me in regards to running an online business and understanding how to get into the internet marketing game. But what's, what's funny is I'll never forget, I had a flip phone at the time that's right, I told you I'm dating it here. I had a flip phone, iPhones didn't even exist. I sent a text message to my buddy I want, he goes, I can't believe this just happened. We made $5,431, this is absolutely insane. He kept that te text message for many years to come. And now, unfortunately, he doesn't, you know, I don't even think you can probably find the flip phone anymore. The Razor back in the day, that's what it was. But uh, what's wild about that is he kept that text message and he, 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 would, he would always remind me every year, remember this, remember this. So what's wild is, yes, was it the most money in the world? Absolutely not, but the trajectory that my life and my business started taking after that and the way that life changed and where it is at today all was because of that one campaign. And so if anything here, what I could, you know, moral of the story here is you won't know how to do everything. A couple of these here, you won't know how to do everything, but if you just execute, you're going to figure it out along the way, right? You just got to execute and figure it out. Now, more importantly, momentum. Momentum starts with action and it creates this domino effect. But if you aren't willing, to get the momentum started, you can't expect the domino effect. And then having the right people guide you, aka mentors, friends, that helps open up new worlds to you and get you to the next destination faster, right? So if you want to, if you're stuck over here, but you wanna be here, you gotta go find that mentor. You gotta find that person that's gonna help you get from here to here faster. Otherwise, you're gonna be banging your head against the wall, against the desk, doing these things, making the mistakes that they already made because you're not willing to just ask for the help to make it happen. And then most importantly, communicating one 
to many, a lot like we're doing in this video, is super powerful. It's just gotten so much easier now to communicate one to many, and I highly recommend you build that into your business. All right, if you gain value from this video, do me a favor. Like, comment, share. Uh, the way that we get this message out and help more entrepreneurs that are trying to grow their business is putting this content in front of them. Thank you.